What's up everyone? It's your boy Osito and his adventures and today we're back with the world with another banger. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that bell notification, but first you gotta subscribe so you don't miss another video like this. And if you're already subscribed, I wanna say welcome back to my channel. Today we're right here knocking out a few details, but it's a little sketched out guys. I'm a little worried. I'm hoping we won't get kicked out again. Remember lean back when we got kicked out of here? Correct, it was uh, about a year ago we had an experience where it put us in a tough situation where we were forced to either knock out those jobs or decided yeah. we needed to leave quick. The manager was pretty mad. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, though. We knocked out the, the jobs, but, you know, it's like we, we had a hawk watching over us. So today we're hoping we'll get those, that experience. So make sure you stick around through the video towards the end to find out if we get kicked out or not. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Osito? So you guys were having a few issues already? Already, man. Yeah, yeah. So at first we were parked over on the other side. Um, I think his manager, the, the employee's manager, came out and said to uh, move the vehicles over to this side. And um, you could tell they were talking smack to each other a little bit, but we can't really tell exactly. But they, they had us come over here, so we're going to take care of it right here. You could tell that the, the owner of the property don't really like this as much, but... You know, they did call us out here, which is why I, I was like, hey, if it's going to be an inconvenience, you know, we're not going to be able to work properly. I would feel more comfortable just, you know, leaving it at, as is. But thankfully, you know, they want the job done and I think they should be able to work that out and we should be able to take care of this. Cleaning off the windows from the inside, at least. But as you guys can see, guys, we are getting started now. You know, she does need some love and attention, but overall, she's pretty in good condition. You know, a vehicle like this typically has a lot of wear and tear, but we'll see at the end, right? Sometimes some of the wear and tear is covered by grime. As you guys can see, this one was pretty bad, but overall, it looks pretty good. Junior, the detailer, this one took us about a, three hours or so. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. So, Junior, the detailer, thankfully, the owner hasn't came out to fight with us, huh? You know what? That's one of the good things out here, guys, that... uh. You know, we didn't have that same issue as last time, man. Tell me what you guys would do if you guys would have had an issue like that. How would you go on and handle it about it? And, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, we're good. Like, as you guys can see, we just fin finished these floor maps, guys. These floor maps were beat up, Ooh, guys. They were bad. There ain't no coming back from these floor maps. You know what I'm saying? But we could do our best. And as we can see right now, after we're done with the structuring, we are going to start running um, Finisher Express. This right yes, here. Yes, sir. We got to lay down that finisher, huh? This right here, dude, uh, I mean, it helps us from our the, the customers calling us back and telling us, hey, some stains came back. Like, Definitely. You know, I thought you guys were supposed to do this job. Like, I'm about to just finish it off right here. As you guys can see, come and follow up uh, real quick. This is just that finishing touch right here. So basically, the, the cars are all done. As you guys can see, I'm just going to quick spam, spray. This also is good for any orders, any mold building that you have that if, is uh, If I'm correct, the the, the, if I'm correct, Junior, the detailer, that's an inside product, correct? Correct. This is an inside product. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh. It's sold. Oh. That's why I'm telling you, buddy, you got to get it detailed. But there you go, nice and sold. Ready for the next one, man. Daniel, see, that's why it's good to get them detailed, huh? <laughs> Dude, that 
Nah. Nah, that's that possible. Somebody would take it. Dirty? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Dirty, bro. Yeah, yeah. Give it a little clean. It helps it, you know, helps it out real quick. See what Pasito is doing. Okay, I see you putting in work. So, what agreement you guys came in with the client? Yeah, yeah. So, when it came down to the second vehicle, guys, they said our price was too steep at first. So, we ended up going with an interior detail, no shampooing. But in the process, the vehicle got sold. So, you guys tell me, guys, is the price too steep? I don't think so when you just get that money right back and more. So remember guys, invest to make some money. Don't feel afraid to overcharge on your price. Yeah. You know some of these guys are going to make their money back. Definitely. You know, and that's one thing, you know, um, sometimes you got to pull down the firm feet. If you do give a slight discount, you know, make it slight, you know, don't make them pull your whole arm, right? Nice, nice. So you're working on this vehicle for right now. You already ate lunch. Yes. After that, you got another third car for the last of the day. Yeah, it's like a pretty good day. Thankfully, uh, the first car, we were right in direct sunlight. Now it's kind of fresh and you can feel that breeze. So man, it's going to be a breeze. <laughs> nice, nice. And I'm just going to quick show these people right here. There's people out here working. We are at a gas station. And as you guys can see, we haven't had any trouble. The manager hasn't come over here and gave us a rough time, a tough time. First time, our first experience here it was, was not a, good, guys. wasn't that good, wasn't that great for us. Barely learning how to detail. He put us in a tough situation. Where he Imagine, of, guys, working when you're still barely learning, kind of, and then they put that extra pressure on you. Now they want you to do it quicker. You know, you, you, you're thinking and running around like a chicken without its head. So, well, without all being said, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll show you guys the process after we're moving up. I've been feeling very thirsty today, guys. Hopefully we got some more water. Yes, we do. Alright, my detailing people, we are done with this one. As you guys can see, nice and clean. Locked doors. No more locked doors. And this car is officially sold, guys. It's going to be going to the new owner, possibly tomorrow. The client that reached out and booked us for today, he was extremely happy and pleased with the results. Gave us a five star review. And we'll be reaching out in a few days to book another appointment. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We ended up going out to knock out some interior details, one with carpet shampooing at a location where at one time we almost got, well, we almost got kicked out, but we were finished on time. Thankfully, today we did not get kicked out. We wrapped up the videos. I mean, we wrapped up the cars, took care of what we needed to, and got a five-star review. So with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video like this. With that being said, remember, every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson. So don't be stressing. Yeah.